a fantastic cup of coffee. There's just nothing better than starting your day off with a cup of coffee overlooking the Mekong River. Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens. I am in Nguyen Tien in Laos. We're on our way to this conservation national park and we're gonna go to Ban Hat Kai, which is a local Laolum village. We're gonna have a chance to visit the village. They're gonna cook some traditional Lao Laotian dishes for us to eat. Our driver should be here to pick us up very soon and we're on our way. It's around two hours driving. Oh, two hours yeah. driving, okay. But, uh, before we go ahead to the village, we stop at the local market. It's about a two hour drive away, and it's just on the outskirts of Pu Kau Kuai, which is a conservation national park. Uh, but on the way driving there, we're gonna first actually stop at a market to buy some ingredients that we're gonna cook, and then we're gonna be on our way to the village. This looks like a very low-key, very relaxed market, and we're gonna buy some ingredients here. We're just getting some fish here, but they have chicken, they have your meat selection, and I think a, a snack might be in order too. Oh, and nokata. Okay. Uh, there's nothing like a little meat snack in the morning, so she has the full selection. Oh, and she's dishing out the sticky rice now. Uh, but these are all a selection of different dried, sun-dried meats. Um, but I, I, ha I saw the quail skewered up and grilled. Quail is delicious, and so she tosses it on the grill to reheat it, and that's gonna be good. Okay. <laughs> And, and Thai. There, as she was grilling the quail, there was another treat that I, I saw she had that I could not resist, which is buffalo lungs, sun-dried, and then um, grilled, tear off a lung. I don't mind if I do. Look at that texture. It's kind of kind of shriveled up. Oh, you took from Pak very far away oh. from here. Oh, wow. That is, that's chewy. Mmm. Again, the more you chew, the more flavor is released. But your first couple bites, you don't really taste anything. A very unique texture though. It's because it's lung, so lung is sort of like airy, but then it's dried out, so it's crinkly. New foods in Lao, or new parts. Oh, hand banana. Oh. <laughs> he didn't know he was on camera. Oh, so I did, so I did. This is a This is a Oh yeah, buffalo lungs and sticky rice, what a combination. Quail is one of my favorites, I mean that's why I, I could not pass that stall. Um, but these are beautiful little guys. I'm gonna go ahead and break off the drumstick thigh combo. Yeah, you can just see how juicy that is. And it's oily. Oh. Oh, I love quail. Oh, it's so moist. Mm -hmm. Oily in the perfect kind of way. And really, really flavorful. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just fantastic. You gotta have grilled quail when you're in Laos. Okay, that was fantastic. We gotta move though. Okay, lai lai. The market was fantastic. Those quails, they're, oh, they're so good. And Ying stayed back in the car, but don't worry, we bought her a quail and some sticky rice too, as Micah's taking a nap. Uh, but we, I think we probably have about an hour and a half until we get to the village. When I travel, I have lots of downtime. I, I'm, I'm constantly taking buses, taking vans, we're on airplanes, we're on trains, and I'm all about making the most of my time and being productive. And so something that I really enjoy doing is listening to audiobooks. And I wanna make it really clear to you that this video is paid for and sponsored by Audible, but I'm very excited to be a part of it because it's something that I actually use and something that I enjoy. Just the other day I was talking with my buddy Joel who's traveling with us in Lao right now and he's a cyclist and he was also mentioning to me that he often listens to audiobooks from Audible when he's on the bike when he's riding. Joel, what was the most recent audiobook you listened to? Uh, it was Living the Dream Once in a While by Phil Guyman. The most recent audiobook that I just finished listening to is called The Language of Food. The author 
he uncovers a number of historical food stories and dissects them by linguistic analysis. I especially like Audible because they have a huge selection of audiobooks, and I particularly enjoy mostly nonfiction, especially about history, business, and food and culture. And I'll have the link in the description box, but you can go to audible.com slash markweens or text markweens to 500-500 to get an exclusive 30-day trial to Audible and a book of your choice to download for free. Okay, next stop will be the village. Okay, welcome to Banhat Kai Village. Oh, that was a, a great drive. It, it did take almost exactly two hours. Oh, hello. She's weaving uh, the basket. Oh, okay. Oh, the basket for cool. keeping sticky rice. Oh, okay. This is where we were gonna do the cooking. This is the village. Look at this house. It is beautiful. On top of wooden stilts, it's, it's, it's all wood, traditional style. Oh man, I can already... Okay, as soon as he just turned the engine off of the car, the, the peace just overwhelmed me. Sabadi. The kitchen is up here on the still. Oh wow, it's just a whole big, big space. All wood. Oh, she's just lighting the fire right now. Cooking oh, sticky rice. Oh, okay. She has to soak okay. the rice first about mm -hmm. One or two hours. Okay. Sure. This is such a cool house. Check this out. There's a, a mango tree right here. You gotta be kind of careful stepping on this section because there are some there there's some missing planks. Uh, but then you come over here, and then yeah, this is the main like living social area here. Hanging out here. And then the kitchen is over here, and this is this is something that's pretty cool because you normally, I mean, normally houses like this that I've seen normally they do the cooking on the bottom floor on the ground uh, because of the fire, uh, but they have a little platform with earth with dirt on it, so they can have a fire inside here on the top platform, and without it being a, a safety hazard, it's really cool. Okay, she washed all of the vegetables and now she's uh, scaling the fish and chopping up the fish. She's going to be making a couple of different dishes. Uh, one of them I know for sure is goi pa. It's a fish mix. Uh, she's taking off the fillets and yeah, we're, we're gonna see what's all in it. It's, a, it, it, it's, I mean, it's something you have to eat when you're in Lao. It's delicious. Joel is back here. Peeling some mint. Okay, the sticky rice is ready. That just takes 25 minutes to steam. So there's a big wooden tray. She sprinkles, sprinkles a little water on the tray. I'm just sure. Dump out the sticky rice. Oh, that's just a little ball of fresh sticky rice. Oh, there's a little basket on the bottom, like a weave, like a wicker. They don't do that everywhere the traditional way anymore, but onto the wooden tray, she wets her hands, she sort of scoops it around, kneads it a little bit with a paddle, and then drops it right into the, the wicker basket sticky rice holder, uh, and that's gonna be hot, fresh sticky rice for to, to eat throughout the entire day. Let me tell you, there's just nothing like the aroma of fresh sticky rice. <laughs> Yeah, that's a cool knife. That knife looks like it's cooked some delicious things. Oh no. On. on. Any 
Can you tell me like a... Gang. A uh, gang. She's making some type of a vegetable curry, so she's boiling some more water. She tossed in a couple chilies and some lemongrass and some salt into the water. For the goy, she's just uh, flash boiling the fish in a strainer, just for about almost like 20 seconds or so, just till it's lightly cooked but not overcooked. And then that's gonna mix with all those herbs. It's gonna be incredibly delicious. Once you have all the ingredients prepared for goi, it's really just about mixing them and getting the ratios right. What I like is it's really heavy on the vegetables, lots of mint in there, lots of long beans, uh, lots of green onions, the chilies are in there. Uh, she added only one squeeze of lime, and then she added in a little bit of salt, uh, a little bit of fish sauce, and oh yeah, the final ingredient she added in was kaukua, and kaukua is toasted sticky rice, which is then ground into a powder. Oh, sap lai. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's so fresh. I mean. Rather than discarding the bones uh, from the boneless fish to make that dish, what she's doing is she's making, it's, they call it a gang, but it's but kind of a soup with the fish bones. She added in, I'm getting some smoke in my eyes, and she added in uh, the, the uh, some napa cabbage as well as some pak guang tung, which is like choy sum. Okay, I'm tearing. And then yeah, so that's gonna be like a simple vegetable stew. She's gonna make two different jiaos. Uh One is with eggplant, the roasted eggplant, and one is with tomatoes. And so now she's again roasting the tomatoes over the fire. Four, five, Okay. 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 Everything is fresh, everything she made by hand from scratch. Uh, and she didn't start cooking until we got here, so she prepared everything from start to finish. And so what I love is that there's so many vegetables and so many herbs, and yeah, it all looks fantastic. And we have a sticky rice buffet, all you can eat sticky rice to eat with all of this. Okay, and we, uh, what's also cool is that we're all sitting together, we're all sitting around the, the food together, we're gonna all share this meal, which is even better, that's the best part. Is you just grab a whole handful, and you can kind of keep it in your hand as you just keep eating. You can take a, a little bite of sticky rice in individual, you can kind of play with it, you can kind of mold it together, and I, I just have to begin with that guy. I already luckily got a taste test, but it is just fabulous. <coughs> Oh. Sorry, dude. Go ahead, sap. Sap, like. Oh. Pit. Really? <laughs> really, what I love so much about that guy is that it focuses really, I mean, it's, it's made with fish, and you think of it as a fish dish, but it's really all about the herbs. It's really all about those pungent, the mint in there comes in so strong. You've got the crunch of the long beans, you've got the green onions, the chilies in there. And, and it's just kind of like light and refreshing, but those herbs just, just shine. They outdo themselves. Oh. 
It's delicious. And there really is nothing better than fresh sticky rice. I'm gonna grab a piece of vegetable and next I will try the the roasted eggplant. She roasted the chilies, she roasted the eggplant, uh, and then she added in just a little bit of fish sauce and she added in, really it's very light on the seasoning, some salt in there and we just rely on those natural ingredients. Can't handle that too. Sorry. Oh. Oh yeah. There are so many different cultures around the world that have roasted eggplant dishes, including the Middle East, which you know they have a they, they eat roasted eggplant like this. It's very similar, uh, but that's just delicious. It's kind of almost like soupy. It's a little bit slimy from that eggplant. You've got the green onions in there. It's fantastic to go with vegetables. And then this one is the other jail made with the roasted tomatoes. And again, there's so many different cultures. This, it, I mean, it, it reminds me exactly of a Mexican salsa. Uh, roasted tomatoes, roasted chilies, green onions in here. And yeah, it looks delicious. Mm. <clears throat> oh, oh yes. That is straight up just a, it is, it's a, it's a tomato salsa. A gel, absolutely delicious. Goes fantastic with vegetables. It's healthy, it's nutritious. Yeah, this is a great meal. With those fish bones, again, this is very, th very simple. Just boiled vegetables with the, the fish bones. Yeah. Very simple, just like a vegetable soup, flavored with the fish bones. Another option of what you can do is you can go in with your spoon, you can eat some of the goyer, you can eat some of the dishes, and then you can chase them with vegetables. One more notable feature about the goy is that the, how the fish is just barely boiled. So it's not mushy, it's not overcooked, it remains, it remains firm and just, oh, and, and, and still refreshing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just so good and that smoky flavor. Mmm. And this has just been boiled. It's one of the vegetables. You can see how kind of squishy it is. Um, what you can do is you can eat this with the dips, but you just gotta check this out. It's kind of, on the inside, is almost like jelly. You know that kind of slimy component of a, an okra? It's kind of like that. It kind of just oozes out from the insides. And I will scoop that into the, the gel. When you go back to Thailand, tell your wife to cook like this. I have no wife. Oh, no wife. <laughs> that's so, that's so unique. It's so runny, runny actually. And the seeds just kind of ooze out, but it's really good. It's yeah. like a slimy zucchini. But definitely the highlight of this meal is that goi. And it is just next level, delicious, fresh. <laughs> With that sticky rice combination. Oh man. And this is a dish that you could make easily at home. I mean, there's only, there's not that many ingredients in it. It's really all about those fresh herbs. If you can get those fresh herbs and the fish, uh, you can make this at home really easily. And it is, it's a stunner. Joe, what's your favorite dish? The, I gotta go with this roasted eggplant. I've had it oh, before, nice. but cool. dude, it is just stunning. The, the freshness and the fact, my, when eating at home, my favorite thing is usually watching the chef make it you knowing that it's freshly made and then getting to taste it. That's just, for me, you can't beat that. We ate quite a lot of food and what I noticed is that I don't, I don't feel that full, I feel light. I mean, if you eat a lot of sticky rice, you will, you will fall into a slumber guaranteed. But I ate, I mean, I ate a lot of sticky rice, but I ate a lot of vegetables. I was just feasting on that pile of vegetables and the jails and the goi, it was all good. As soon as we arrived, she started cooking and we didn't even have a chance to walk around, but actually we're just a stone's throw from a river. It's a pretty decent sized river. Cough chai lai lai, cough chai lai lai. 
ค thank you ขอบใจขอบใจเราขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับไมค์ก้าไมค์ก้าจะจ้าค่ะจ้า The river is so beautiful and so peaceful in this entire village, b a n h a t k a i It's 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 been fantastic to come and visit. The people have been so friendly. Uh, yeah, again, the village—it's so relaxing here. You could get into that type of mood where you just want to lay around in a hammock and not move for the entire day. Lunch was superb. I love how she she prepared everything, and I, I, again, I still I'm I'm blown away by the amount of herbs in the cooking, the g a w i especially. That was that was that was the dish. And again, I want to say a huge thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. I'll leave the links in the description box. And thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. I'm going to be publishing lots more food and travel videos and culture videos. And also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of all future videos that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Banhat Kai, and I'll see you on the next video.